Hi everyone, welcome to G Cafe. Let's go check what it's about. Well, everyone, we're in this really, really trendy. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding myself. Okay, that, that, don't worry, you guys got to see that because, you know, we leave everything in. Well, everyone, we're in this really, really trendy G Cafe. I'm actually with the owner. Hello. Aisha. Yeah. Aisha. Hello. Aisha. And, and, well, I mean, you know, this is her place, her vision to make a, a trendy, Instagrammable cafe like the rest of the world. You know, let's bring one to Mauritius. Sure. It's about time. And that's it. It's about time. Now she's going to show me some food. Let's go there. This is, mm. what did you call it? Bilambi. Bilambi. Yeah, we go with a little bit of chicken breast. And it's really red. Do you use something like a tandoori spice or something? That's a secret. Oh, that's yeah. a secret. We don't know. It's got secret sauce on it. Oh, I'm sure you guys are getting hungry now. Not as bad as me having to smell this. It smells amazing. Aisha keeps doing secret things here. She puts some more secret sauce on that to make sure it tastes wow. juicy. What is what is that that you were turning? The, the chicken. The chicken leg, yeah. The chicken leg. So you basically we cut like like it to make sure it's cut. cooked everywhere. Ah, oh, that is so clever and it looks great. Checking back in on that chicken leg. Ah, oh, wow, that smells so good. Comfy? That's great. It's like super trendy. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> I should be Instagramming. Yes, you should be Instagramming. Wow, here it comes. Look at that huge meat platter. Wow. Oh, wow. But this is not really actually on the menu. Okay. Ask for this, guys. Seriously. Everyone, have a look at this. At that G Cafe. In my honor, they are naming this the Brian Grill. Yeah, so you get a portion of grilled chicken, two like lamb choppy things, and the salad, and the chips. And a piece of bread that I'm not holding because I don't have enough hands. And she's going to make this 250 rupees. Yeah. 250. Wow. The Brian Grill. Come get it. It's a G Cafe. And it's great for sharing if you're not a hungry person. Yes, but come hungry. <laughs> this is the chicken. Look at this chicken. Mm -hmm. mm. Secret sauce? Mm. Have you figured it out? Mm -mm. Oh, so we have to come back here. You can't make it at home. <laughs> wow. Mm. This is the brine platter. Obviously, I'm going to try some of the lamb. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's actually... Mm. 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 Nice. Five spice. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and that sauce. Oh. It's actually really good. <laughs> Red letter day. Jacket plate potato machine. They actually make jacket potatoes in these machines. Wow. That is awesome. This is Nazma. She's actually the power behind the whole kebabs coming into Mauritius. Oh, you see, Mom knows what to do with cameras, Aisha. Really? <laughs> She's a pro. And tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Remember, I said it was a red letter day? Well, now it really is. Look who I've got. This is Azari. And right behind me is what he introduced to Mauritius. So if you're wondering where the story of how we got kebabs and shawarmas into Mauritius, this is the man who did it, Azari. I was, I was the first one to meet you. He was the first one. I am truly honored to meet you because I love eating these. Oh, those fries do look good. She said the fries were good and those look like great fries. Yes, yeah, so Aisha's already on to ripping, making wraps. How nice and thin that wrap is. Now we got you a little bit late and she ran out of kebab because the place is so popular. So she made us some special chicken because we were super hungry after our trip from the metro. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's too quick for me. Cheese goes on top of there as well. Wow! Just putting some more sauces. What is it, like a mayonnaise or...? So mayonnaise, ketchup uh -huh. and chilli. I'll put Ooh, a little because it's very thanks. spicy. Thank you. Oh, this is the wrap. The famous wrap. And the famous chips. And of course some dipping sauces. These fries are delicious. They've got like a bit of pepper and stuff on them. 
super yum, but Brian says the chili is very hot. Mine, mine. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try just a little bit, just to make sure. Mm. That's right. Mm. And that chili, it's got a punch. Mm -hmm. It's such a nice flavor. Oh, but it's really hot. It was really, really hot with the mayonnaise. And then chicken wrap and fries. Made by the daughter of the guy who brought kebab into Mauritius. Yeah, so you've got your gorgeous swing and you can sit here in this beautiful cafe and eat that beautiful wrap. I should probably turn the wrap a bit more. We are not good at this Instagrammy thing. There, something like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so he was doing a TikTok mm -hmm. and he took a great big bite of mm -hmm. the kebab. So, mm -hmm. watch mm -hmm. it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, hang on, this just in. Mm -hmm. Also, the first to bring mobile ice cream. Yeah, mobile ice cream. Into Mauritius. Yeah, what's the first one? Wow, oh. that's so cool. So this is my my fruit my fruit juice being made. This is an actual machine. It's probably going to be loud. I'll step back a bit. Yeah. That's how you know it's fresh. <laughs> yeah. Wow! This is a fresh one. It's very nice to have it that fresh. And look, you get a little shot glass as well. Oh wait, no, that's for the drippings. <laughs> and there we go, the fruit cocktail. Well, after all my hard work in the kitchen preparing this, <laughs> I literally didn't even film it. It was all filmed by Ricky. Let me yeah. Drink some juice. <laughs> you were talking history. Oh wow! You didn't add sugar to this. Wow, how do you make it so sweet? It's because I'm sweet, that's why it comes out sweet. <laughs> Swings! Setting up for our classic Instagram picture. <laughs> Gorgeous, beautiful. This is all my Instagram, everyone. And hold the hand to the rose above you. There, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please like my post, everybody. Please like my post. <laughs> Oh, sauce! And here comes some more. This is Ricky's burger. This is not a burger though, this is the rounder meal. Because it's not a, a beef patty, it's actual bits of grilled beef, beef on a bun with some cheese and a bit of salad and some sauce. What a clever idea, so like real meat, it's not a burger patty. Yeah, they do burgers, but this is a rounder. A rounder with grilled meats. A little bit all over the face, mm -hmm. but that's the price you pay for eating around there at G Cafe. Uh -huh. And messy hands, look at those hands! <laughs> oh, awesome! Ricky Wave. <laughs> oh, wait, you got Ricky, she can actually do the wave herself. <laughs> oh, how, how cheesy are we? So, all the furniture here is actually reclaimed pallets. It's pretty cool. How you came up with the name Gloria? We ordered a machine for agricultural purposes. Okay. And the machine was written Gloria. Oh, the agricultural machine was written Gloria. Yeah, the machine was Gloria. Okay, back in 1960. 1960. Mm -hmm. I, was still, I was still young. You were still young. After. You were 15, okay, wow. Then I told her, hey, it's a very nice machine. Well, what a small world. This is Ali. You guys know him from Perry Bay Beach, the Gloria at Perry Bay Beach. That's his place. This is a machine for making crepes or pancakes. Oh no, look at that. Look at that. The thing is like rolling it out. This is like a pancake. It's like a long pancake. I suppose you can make an even longer one. Yeah. This is that long, but you could actually go all the way to the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Massive pancakes. But that's the secret to a great crepe or pancake is how skinny it is. Oh, this is Nutella. This is actual Nutella going on. And onto the plate. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. You get a bit more Nutella on the outside as well. <laughs> you want ice cream on it, right? Yes, please. You do have a lot of choice, but we obviously vanilla people. When you're going chocolate, you gotta go simple. Please don't make me swing and hold this for Instagram. <laughs> oh, look how much ice cream you get on that. That is a ton. Is that special just for me or does everyone get that much? <laughs> everyone gets that much, wow. Oh wow, so we're going, we're going over the top on this one. <laughs> and a little drizzle in the ice cream. Oh, but you see, that's why it's called the Instagram Cafe. I mean, G Cafe. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
maybe edit this bit out. Yeah. <laughs> we never edit anything. It goes live. Eclairs and brownies. Because Ricky probably missed them. Actual donuts. Nutella crepe with sprinkles and ice cream. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> how romantic. <laughs> Look how much ice cream you get. Nutella and it's a lovely ice cream. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she already scoffed some as you saw on the Instagram <laughs> video. Yeah. Okay, it's enough. My turn now. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. delicious, and the mm. the pancake itself is so yum. Mm -hmm. Really nice. One mm -hmm. of the best I've had, actually. Mm -hmm. Bravo, mm -hmm. chef. It's a photo. You've been sending me and you can get my delivery through Hungry Dodo. So you brought the machine in '82 to this shop. Wow. So this machine I, I went in, in in Saudi Arabia. So you actually got it from Saudi Arabia? Yeah, I got it from Saudi Arabia. Then I have been working in all, almost all trade fairs. Okay, so you did it at the trade fairs? Trade fairs, yes. Right. The first one is in 1976. 19... Oh, at the gardens in Pumplemousse. Yeah. So that was the first place that you yeah. served? Yeah. Yes, yes, let, let the children do it. <laughs> I just twigged Rose Hill. Oh, wow. And this place is decorated with roses. <laughs> Actually, stopping off here turned into be a great thing because we got a new friend. Aisha. Aisha. And she's inviting us to eat briyani. So we're going to be eating briyani on Perubia Beach very soon. But beef briyani. Beef briyani. That seems like an interesting concept. Haven't seen that before. Oh, because it's the first time in Mauritius. Eat now, pay at the end of the month. Clever idea, we'll get more people in. Wow, what a pleasure meeting the guy who actually brought kebabs to Mauritius for the first time. And isn't G Cafe absolutely fantastic? Anyway, you know, we came in to get one story, we got another, and we're so happy to see his daughter continuing the story. Anyway everyone, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.